Mine's not working! My name is Sophie Mueller and I'm from Seward, Nebraska. I'm Alex Johnston. I am from Grant, Nebraska. <laughs> well, I don't know how to start this. <sighs> Bumble. <laughs> well, we'll just say we're not sure who we told the truth and who we lied to, but we met on Bumble. <laughs> Bumble! <laughs> I thought she was gonna ask the question again. We met on Bumble. <laughs> Two, one. Bumble! Bumble! <laughs> yep, we we're sorry to the people we lied to. We were embarrassed, but we didn't meet on Bumble. Um, specifically, his aunt, Christy. She asked us where we met, and we were embarrassed, so we were like, oh yeah, we met at a bar or something. And she's like, at least you didn't meet on one of those dating sites. And I'm pretty sure my face got really, really red. <laughs> Because we did. Me and Bumble. When I saw him, I'm like, oh, you're actually really cute. Like, normally you're disappointed. <laughs> and I wasn't disappointed. He was really cute. A good smile. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought when I saw her. We went to uh, yeah, yeah. Yaya's. The pizza place downtown on O Street. And then we went to a movie. Like the Maze Runner, like the second one, third it was, one. It was a horrible movie. It was, Sophie is the one who uh, suggested it and... I fell asleep. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. She fell asleep for about 45 minutes on it on my shoulder. Well, Two beer snooze is what she says. Two beer snooze. <laughs> well, when I got in the car, because we were nervous, he asked me if I drank before. And I obviously lied. <laughs> I said, oh no, no. Did you? He's like, oh no, no. <laughs> And then as we like got to know each other and down the line and we talked about our first date, I said, yeah, I actually drank a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I actually was taking shots of vodka. <laughs> so, so yeah, we were nervous and a little tipsy and that's probably why I fell asleep during the movie. <laughs> I remember it was the first night we met, sorry. <laughs> First night, <laughs> and it wasn't so uh, romantic. Um, alcohol might have been in the picture, and but it was good. <laughs> I think he would have had the confidence to like survive three days. <laughs> He'd be like so pumped, be like, "Yeah, I could do this." And yeah, he lasts maybe a week. I'd say I'd give him a week. Absolutely not. Well, she would do a lot more whining than she would trying to figure out how to do things. She is a big complainer <laughs> and she would just, she, it would be way too uncomfortable for her and she would be way too set on that rather than trying to figure out how to survive. How he carries himself. Um, he just carries himself in a really like calm, relaxed, caring, chill, funny way. <laughs> and that's what like drew me to him. Her happy, bubbly personality and just fun to be around she's always in a good mood and well not always but <laughs> <laughs> most of the time in a good mood and uh, uh just how uh, selfless she is and always puts other people first so she would be a monkey <laughs> no, not a monkey not a monkey uh, I'm not a monkey! Because <laughs> monkeys jump around and make lots of noises and they're... I'm not a monkey! <laughs> <laughs> they're funny, that's why. <laughs> they're awesome. <laughs> and they're cute. Sometimes. A hedgehog. <laughs> yeah! Mm. <laughs> yeah, explain. Um, I don't know, I just... You just look like one. <laughs> Cute. Not small, but not big. Um, pokey hair. Yeah, pokey, but soft. 
Sophie said it first about a couple months into the three months into the relationship. I said it first. Yes, you said it first. Not really. He kind of said it first. <laughs> I said to Charlie, her dog, <laughs> that I love you more than your mom. And, and I was like, oh, <laughs> he loves me. I don't want to pretend like it's like a fairy tale. I knew right away it was he was the one. Like it wasn't easy. Um, like just straight out billboard saying he was the one. I think it was over time. Um, when I had my questions, how he would react to it. And um, when I was like sad about things, how he would like, like, um, like treat me when I was really sad and when I had my roughest time in hell. Just so much he's been there for me. <laughs> it's probably a few months after hanging out, just when I, it, just when I realized how easy it was to hang out with her and get along with her and how much fun I had and I could see a future with her. So I guess there wasn't like a specific time. It was over a period, but yeah. I think he's just so genuine. Like he's a genuine guy. Bubbly. <laughs> he sings. <laughs> everything he sings all the time and when I talk about it it's funny but in the moment when you're not having a great day you don't want someone to sing snack time it's snack time I don't get that into well, it well he like sings in a way you sing what, you know you sing all the time what annoys me is that no. she gets mad at my singing no but what do you sing and brings my day down I just get annoyed at her, of her getting annoyed at me. She's very hard to get her attention when she's on her phone. She will be buried in her phone forever. So we uh, were in Hawaii. Um, I kind of, I knew it was probably going to happen. I mean, he knew that was my favorite place in the world and we already kind of talked about it. To make uh, this long story short, <laughs> we arrive in Honolulu. It was a really stressful day. We we're looking for lunch, it was really hot, and I suggest a place to go out to eat. And um, he was like, no, well, seriously, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, like it's the closest place. No, I have reservations there t tonight. And I'm like, there's no other reason why Alex would make reservations anywhere <laughs> unless he was doing, planning something. Then the night came and we went somewhere else for dinner. And so I honestly, I didn't really know what was gonna happen. Like I, I didn't know if he'd actually still follow through with it because I already kind of knew it was gonna happen. We were both really awkward all dinner because <laughs> I don't know, like just that unknown if it's, he was gonna do it. I don't think he knew how he was gonna do it. And then I had to go to the bathroom, like I literally just had to go to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm probably setting him up for this, like, but I really do have to pee. <laughs> so I go to the bathroom and then you can take it from here. <laughs> so I called our waiter over and I pulled out my ring and he just started all acting all, oh, oh, oh gosh, what are, and I was like, will you bring out a piece of cake with that on top, please, or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the waiter like brings out the cake and like sits in her front of me and I go, I was like, you turd. <laughs> like that's the first thing I said to him. I asked her to spend the rest of my life with me. And then he's like, I have a speech prepared, but I'm really nervous and they're watching, so I'll say it later. <laughs> I asked her to spend the rest of her life with me. I said your life. You said your life. Yeah, your life. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting to, to see each other when we walk down the aisle. And I think that's the moment I'm looking forward to the most. Like, I've always wanted that. Just seeing everybody that we love and gathering around to hang out, celebrate um, our love for each other. Well, in the short term, we're moving to Hawaii and we hope that goes well and yeah. have a great adventure over there and we'll 
learning about each other a little more <laughs> at a place in the middle of the ocean. We know we are only given one life and like we want to do the most with it. Um, <clears throat> so like we're both open to like Hawaii, like when we get back potentially traveling still and like just doing that while we're young. And I feel yeah, like that's in the first what we five want. years, yeah. get out and adventure and then, yeah. for a little while and then a couple kids. And then after that, we'll settle down and have the kiddos. Alex, I am so, so, so happy to be officially married to you. I know. Um, I have not been very easy to put up with all the time. So I thank you for putting up with my crazy craziness and crazy mind and <laughs> crazy head. <laughs> um, you are really patient with me and I appreciate that. Literally growing up, like I would imagine my future husband and um, I was talking to my mom about this and you are that. Like, it's just hard to put into words, but you are like, you fit perfectly into what I imagine. And I'm so excited to marry you, and I love you, and let's party. <laughs> Sophie, I love you. I'm glad we made it here today, finally, to celebrate. And hopefully the day wasn't as stressful as we thought it was going to be. And cheers to us. <laughs> Um, we just wanted to thank everyone for coming. Um, it means a lot to us that you wanted to help us celebrate our big day. No? <laughs> okay. But it especially means a lot during this time. It's a hard time and um, you coming out just still during this time means even more. <laughs> Maybe change Thanksgiving plans a little bit. Yeah. But I thought you we really anything. appreciate that. I hope we all have a lot of fun the rest of the night and we have some free beer for you guys and let's party. Cheers. <laughs> I can't see anything. He's burped in his. He's <laughs> burped in it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking how my look. Sophie and Alex, I just wanted to say how much I love you guys, how much I'm thankful to be here on your special day, and how excited I am for you guys to move to Hawaii and just start a new life, and it's gonna be amazing. I love you guys both. Congratulations. Congratulations. Aloha from beautiful Hawaii. Always remember when packing, less is more. <laughs> We're so happy for you guys and love you guys. Woo! Woo! Can't wait to come visit. Hey, Sophie and Alex, congratulations on your big day. We're so excited for you guys to move to Hawaii and we're gonna keep you in our thoughts and prayers throughout this time. And we love you and can't wait to come visit you. Hi, Hi Sophie guys. and Alex. Hey guys, uh, congratulations on this uh, exciting journey. Uh, best of luck on your new adventure in Hawaii. I'm sure it'll go fantastic, so enjoy. Hello, Alex and Sophie. Uh, congratulations on your wedding. Um, just the only advice Nelson and I have for you is just don't go to bed mad at each other at night. Love you guys. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, Sophie and Alex. We love you and we wish you the best. Hey, Soph and Alex, just wanted to say congratulations on the big day um, and becoming newlyweds. I'm so blessed and thankful that you guys asked me to be a part of it. Not only am I happy that you guys are starting this new journey together, but also your adventure in Hawaii. I know you guys are going to have um, a blast. 
Hey Alex and Sophie, I just wanted to wish you guys an absolutely wonderful wedding day and I hope you have the best day and you guys are going to have a great life and a wonderful time in Hawaii and I wish I could be there. I, I love you guys. Hi Alex and Sophie, this is Aunt Pam. I just wanted to say congratulations to both of you and I'm so sorry we can't be there for your wedding day, but we wish you all of our best. Hey there Alex and Soph. Um, Coming to you here from a pasture in the middle of BFE because I about forgot about the deadline of the video. But uh, just wanted to say that I'm so happy for the both of you. Um, I'm honored to be a part of your big day. I'd uh, give you guys some advice, some love advice, but uh, I'm 26 and single, so I don't think it'd be worth a damn. Hey, Alex and Sophie, we're sure sorry we couldn't make it down there. You know we love you guys, and we'll have an opportunity later on when we get this bug out of here. Again, we, we're sure going to miss that. Love you guys. Hey, Soap and Alex, congratulations on your big day. Sophie, you look beautiful as always. Alex, your butt looks great in those pants. <laughs> we wish you guys the best in Hawaii. We, we love, love ya. ya. Cheers. Alex and Sophie, sorry we couldn't be there. We're wishing you both the best of luck and we hope you enjoy Hawaii a lot. And we look forward to visiting you there too. Congratulations. congratulations. Uh, Sophie and Alex, congrats on the big day. We're happy to be a part of it. Uh, I'm sad to see you guys go, but I can't wait to catch some waves out in Hawaii with you two. So, and Alex, I love you guys so much, and I'm so excited for you. Hope you make the most of all your days in Hawaii and are ready to come back to Nebraska soon. Hi, Alex and Sophie. Sorry we couldn't make it. Congratulations. We are so happy for you guys. Wishing you all the best and a happy, happy time in Hawaii. Bye. Say bye, boy. Say bye. Hi, Sophie and Alex. I am so happy for you too. You kids are wonderful kids. I love you so much. And I'm ready for this wedding, but the COVID is around and I don't like that, but we'll make it through. We want you to have happy days and then you'll be going to Hawaii and I won't get to see you for a while, but I love you and I will miss you so much. Congratulations, Sophie and Alex. We love you great big. We hope you always will. We hope your trip to Alaska, <laughs> Hawaii. Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told this ain't you. Getting too good. <laughs> Hi, Sophie and Alex. It's your wedding day. Congratulations. Let's get ready to party. Sophie, Alex, <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Congrats, guys. <laughs> we love you so much, and we're so excited to visit you in Hawaii. Hi Sophie and Alex, congratulations on your big day. We love you so much and Alex, welcome to the family. We can't wait to visit you in Hawaii. Congrats guys, super happy for you. Best of luck in all your adventures in Hawaii. Their love is certainly true. And soon they'll no longer be two. For they will be one with their future begun. When she smiles and answers, I do. Aloha. Aloha! Alex and Sophie, we are excited and happy for the two of you, starting your lives together and following your dreams to Hawaii. Even though that means I will have to fly over the ocean to see you, it will be worth it. Alex, we're very proud of you. And Sophie, we couldn't ask for a better daughter-in-law. We love you both so much. Congratulations. Hey, Sophie uh, and Alex. Sophie and Do it again. Hi, Hi Sophie and Alex. Alex. Hey Alex, welcome to the family. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you, but welcome to the family. You two are perfect for each other. You're like two peas in a pod. You're kind of a male version of Sophie. You're just perfect. Um, just enjoy today. We're so proud of both of you for following your dreams and- We'll see you in Hawaii. Love you, bye. Love you.